So how does your home measure up? If you plan to build it, fix it, or plant it, don't miss the Clark Public Utilities Home and Garden Idea Fair. See hundreds of exhibits, including a home of the future built by New Tradition Homes. Pick up some plants at the region's largest plant sale and check out the beautiful landscape displays. Admission is free. Fairgrounds parking is $5. Thursday's Columbian has more information. The Clark Public Utilities Home and Garden Idea Fair, April 27th through 29th at the Clark County Event Center at the Fairgrounds. If your lawn is no longer a lawn, here's what you can do. First, kill what's there. Mow the dead grass and thatch. Add fertilizer and lime to the soil. Next, put down nature's own lawn seed. Choose the one that's right for your area. Cover with peat moss and keep moist. Now, mow your lawn when it's three inches tall, then fertilize again to keep it growing strong. Give your lawn that golf course look with nature's own lawn seed. Available exclusively at your local Fred Meyers Garden Center. Moen Machinery prides itself on its history and their 60 years of doing business and serving the community. They welcome the opportunity to earn your business and provide the Moen Machinery tradition of excellence. Kubota tractors are designed for those who demand more. More power, more versatility, more value. Whether you work in the backyard or the back 40, there's a Kubota tractor that's just right for you. The staff in Moen Machinery has years of skilled experience. Let their experts put you behind the wheel of a new Kubota tractor today. Moen Machinery, from the farm to the garden, your first stop for quality equipment. You can really live the difference at Willamette View, where whole person wellness for your body and mind is at the center of Portland's premier senior residence. Our just open wellness center offers state-of-the-art fitness equipment, indoor pool, and programs for residents' mental and emotional well-being. You'll love our wellness lifestyle and the views from our landscape acreage on the Willamette River. Discover the difference for yourself. Come see why Willamette View has more to offer. In an earlier segment with Michael Fletcher, we talked about many of the water features they have here. This is just a small sampling, Michael, of, of what you've done. Yeah, and it's a little early. There's not a lot of plants in it yet. Right. But no, I think the one thing that I wanted to show, it's kind of a how-to thing, that if people wanted to have a water, you call it a feature, water uh -huh. bowl on their deck without electricity, uh -huh. this is something they can do. Very simply. So, you, what do you do to keep algae down from here? I use a, a pond shade called Black Veil, and it actually keeps the sun from getting in and make, letting algae grow. So the water in here has been treated with that, yes. and it's okay for the plants? It's not going to hurt the plants? Not at all. Okay. And will it stay this way all season, or do you have to add it more? It, it dissipates. Um, you can add more, or I, I let it stay like this for just a while and it balances out so I don't really need to add more okay, once it, the plant gets growing. But down. it does stay clear. Yeah. Pretty good. And yep. then what do you do about mosquitoes? You get mosquitoes here? I use the mosquito bits. Um, it works real well. They, the larvae bite it and just kills them. They're gone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little, the plant right here. This is what? I believe this one's the Texas Dawn. A water um, lily. It's a big yellow water lily. Yeah. And so was this out here all winter? Yeah. So it's a hardy one. It is very hard. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what about this stuff right here? That's a Zola. It's a floater. Um, mm -hmm. It has nice long little roots on it, and it it turns kind of red like this almost. Oh, okay. It's very pretty. Okay. The thing I just want to let people know is they can have a water feature, and the water will stay clear without any electricity or any circulation Absolutely. at all. Yeah, okay. Now, you've got a new water feature, gorgeous blue pot out in front of your Thank house. You. So let's go take a look at that. All right. Michael, the, the blue forget-me-nots you have here, this is the regular forget-me-nots, not yeah. like you had out there, okay? Yeah. And then you've got sweet woodruff uh -huh. all along in there, and you just sort of let that naturalize yep. in that area. Well, and I will get I, all white flowers all over it pretty soon. Right. Now, can I walk over here? Certainly can. Right? Okay. Walk over here. I just want to show, because I think this is a spectacular feature. Now, this is new for you right here, right? Yeah. All right. So, there's a reservoir under here. Uh -huh. tell, tell me about it. It's two foot square, it's, um, cinder blocks are on end on each corner. Mm -hmm. um, it has a plastic grate on top of it, and there's a pipe in the middle that comes up, and it's sealed so that when I turn it off, the water stays in the urn, and that's how I get away with a small reservoir underneath it. Oh, okay, because the water can't get out of here once you turn it off, because this is above the 
the level here, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Very, very nice. And how, do you have a liner around here? Yeah, the liner goes way out to here. Okay. And it's, and it's curved in so that when it catches the water splashing, it, the water goes back in. Oh, okay. So, for somebody to make one of these, you've got the liner, the reservoir, mm -hmm. right? And what else? Um, the grate on top that the urn sits on. And so can, it's sitting on a grate. Yeah, is what it's sitting on. Okay. Yeah. And what's the grate on? Um, the grate sits on cinder blocks. Oh, cinder blocks. Okay, yeah. that's okay. Well, that's pretty straightforward, I would think. That's pretty simple. It's beautiful. I mean, what a feature this makes. It's a a plain. It's a gold. It's a beautiful pot, uh, like a cobalt blue, I guess you might say. And yeah. you keep this running all the time. I do. I, I have pictures of it with snow around it and ice around it. Oh, you do. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And the <laughs> pump is where. It's down, there's a little hole right under these rocks that I cut in the grate that I can reach in and get the pump in and out. Okay, so the liner, the cinder blocks, the grate, the pot, the pump, and you've got a tube coming up here just yep. to make it bubble over and go all down the sides. Yep. Great idea. Boy, this is a, this is a really beautiful feature. Awesome. I commend you on that, very, very nice. Well, Michael, thank you for having us here. This was very nice. Uh, many more water features than I even imagined. I've seen your, your things on the bulletin board out at Hughes, the photos, but it's better in person than it is in the picture. Well, thank you very much. <laughs>